Welcome to my Sunday. Inside and outside of my brain looks just like this messy house. And it's just as discombobulated but organized at the same time. I will be doing a little of this and a little of that. Okay? If you want to see kind of what kind of day I have and what kind of things I get up to and into and under and... Wait a minute. <laughs> I took one of those pizza crust recipes and I made a little like a loaf of bread for supper. I need to clean out the fridge. There's a lot oh, the Mediterranean room. I love the fact that I painted on this wall. Yep, the TV freezes and it's all pixelated and stuff. I do need more of an antenna than just the rabbit ears. I've decided eventually, within the next few weeks, I will be making a fractal antenna. And I'm making a larger one and putting it on the wall behind the TV. So it will look like decoration, but it will work as an antenna. That's my dad when he was like two or three years old. That's me when I was like about eight, I think. Album of Bohemian songs, under a jelly, ragtime, uh, old music. I got that was my dad's book. More ragtime, Ringo. <laughs> Are you are experiencing? <laughs> you are experiencing someone with a very scattered brain. This was my life. This was my surroundings. I don't know if I could be normal. Shall I try to play something? I don't know what. What? I don't practice, and I should. I have plenty of time to do it, and I need to find that other book and keep writing my songs and finish that doggone musical because who knows, that might be my ship that needs to come in. Yeah, the pain in the knuckles was right. It rained this morning. Thundered and rained was great morning to sleep. Great ty type of rain and thunder, you know, it just feels great to sleep too in a nice, clean and comfy bed. Did I wake you through? I'm sorry. Yeah, I was doing fine. Uh, my back all of a sudden tightened up. It's really bad. It's like you know, like when you're you've got one of those little airplanes with a rubber band and the propeller, and you tighten it and tighten it and tighten it. And it starts getting so tight, it starts knotting up on itself. That's the way my back was this morning. It's awful. It's like that usually happens to me if I'm out in the winter time and it's really really cold and my, all my muscles contract. But I wasn't really really cold, and my muscles were all contracting. I had terrible pains up and down my back. What the heck's going on? I don't know. Maybe I'll find out on the 26th. Anyway, this is a scatterbrain do nothing Sunday. Actually, I'm doing little bits and pieces, but it really doesn't amount to anything, does it? <clears throat> a little piano playing, a little cooking. I don't know what else I really have to do. Oh, I do have to do my taxes. Well, I don't have to do them. I'm exempt because I don't make enough money. But I found out it from the past that if you don't do your taxes, eventually they'll say, hmm, you didn't do your taxes. And then they'll send you this letter saying, hmm, we figure you owe us about $800. So who's the thieves now, right? So I ended up having to, at that one year, 
go back and get my W-2s and all my tax forms and all that, and I did the taxes, and at that time, I was owed by the government $300. So, if they wouldn't have brought it to my attention, hey. But, uh, I don't owe anything except my student loans, and according to two other people, credit card debt that I don't, haven't had a credit card for almost 20 years. So I don't know what, who's right and who's wrong or anything on that, but uh, all that crap, you know. But I do have to make, do some kind of taxes so that I can at least say, hey, I've done them. Because when you apply for anything, whether it's a loan or a heating aid or anything, they want to know your tax from last year. If you don't do them, you don't have them, right? Even if it's next to nothing. Still got to do them. I'm still not 100%. Whatever this <coughs> is, is still there. Oh, man, am I ever going to be 100% again? Was I ever 100%? <laughs> Here's one of those thralls little toys. Isn't he a little cute little fella? It's a mousy. <laughs> not real it's toy he has two or three little mousies he's got a favorite one that I made him or did I make it to him? No I didn't make it and I rubbed them in cat lip and he loves those little guys they're his little toys just like a little kid plays with baby dolls he plays with his mices I need to make some more antique sideshow videos I have maybe one or two things in mind but I would like to make four at a time that way if something happens during the week and I am unable to make something, I have one waiting in the wings. <clears throat> I love doing those. I love, and I'm trying to think of other characters and other weird skits and things that I can do. It's kind of hard to do it by yourself. It's really nice if you have a partner in crime with that kind of thing. Look who joined me on my lap. Can you hear him purring? Pensive, handsome fellow, you. <laughs> Dinner.